to you, friend, on a Tuesday. So glad to have you a part of this broadcast. Here we are in the first full week of June. Can you believe that? June this year is almost half over. I pray that it's been a blessed first part of the year. And I pray that the continuation of this year will be a year of great joy and blessing. You say, but pastor, how can you say that with all of the trouble that is going on around about us? I will not deny the trouble. I will not deny that there's evil abounding in every direction, but I also will not deny that God can. He can help us get through it. He can and has enabled us to come out a victor and not a victim. And we've got to stand on that word of God. We've got to stand on what God has says. We cannot allow the enemy to steal, kill, destroy, or take away our faith of what God has said that he's going to do. You can't allow that, my friend. You're going to make it. You're going to overcome. As a matter of fact, over in First Peter 5 and 7, our ponder thought for today says this, cast, which means throw from. Cast your cares upon him for he cares for you. Now notice this, notice this. Releasing what confines us is sometimes the hard part, but it is the necessary part if we are to walk or to live free. You've got to let it go. You've got to let it go. Now, let me say this, and I've said it before, but uh, it, it really does bear reiterating. Not only must you allow the offenses, not only must you allow the pain of your past to go, you must also allow the good things that's happened go. Now, you say, but, 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 but no, I want to remember what I did that was good. Let God remember it. Give God the glory that he enabled you to do it and then move further into doing other great things for God. Never allow yourself to become satisfied in some rut, all right, without the hunger and the desire to move on, continuing to minister, Minister, continuing to bless, continuing to lift up. We have to uh, get this. Let's go back to the verse. Cast your cares, throw the, those cares from you, all right, and give them to God. Give them to the Lord because he cares for you. Stand on that word, my friend, that heavy load that you're carrying right now, that burden, whether it's concerning your children, whether it's concerning your marriage, your job, the situation of our nation, whatever it is, we must let God. I found out something a long time ago. I think it may be an age thing, but I come to the realization one day that if I can't change it, if I can't do anything about it, quit wasting energy trying to. And there's something you need to understand. There's some things you can't do anything about that involves other people that are in control of their own destiny. Now we can turn it over to God. Let God handle it. Cast it on God and let him deal with it. But you first must release it before God will take it. He's not going to jerk it out of your hand. You've got to give it to him. Release it to him. All right. Ponder on that. Ponder on that thought. God bless you. I'll be right back tomorrow. Share this. Tell somebody about it. I love you. Thank God you are blessed.